Hey everyone, Bill here for AOP Tech on YouTube. Today we're going to take a look at a great feature called Can Responses in Gmail on your G Suite domain. Now, Can Responses or templates will save you uh, some time on a daily basis once you get into the flow into the rhythm, especially at those times where it might be a little bit more busy uh, during the year than your average day. For teachers, when we get into those those large projects or even into the end of the marketing period, you may receive a lot of similar questions from either your students or your parents. Setting up a canned response or a template will give you the opportunity to be more effective in those responses and have something already set up and prepped to be able to send back. For administrators, quite often you communicate with your faculty and staff, with your parents, or with your students on a weekly, if not a daily basis. And very often we send uh, similar messages and we wanna make sure that there is a consistency to those messages. Um, and we can do that within canned responses. Or, much like teachers, you also come across those busy times of year, whether it be the course selection or rostering season, maybe prom, graduation or homecoming, you field a lot of questions about policies and procedures or just questions about uh, the general events themselves. Rather than having to compose an individual email for every one of them, we're going to take a look at how you will be able to set up canned responses to make your workflow uh, work for you easier. So now we're going to go over and we're going to take a look at our Gmail um, inbox. And to begin, we're going to go over to the gear icon and click down. In our pop-up window, we're going to go down to settings. When we come into settings, we are going to, across the navigation bar, look for our labs tab. And when we go into labs, we are going to scroll down and look for canned responses. Here it is, Canned Responses by Chad P. And we are simply going to click Enable. And much like with anything in Gmail, especially when we're in settings, you will need to save your settings, which is different than when you're working in Drive and Google Docs and, and um, uh, Google Forms or Slides. Things are automatically updated. When we're in settings, we want to make sure that we click Save Changes. Now this will kick us right back out to our inbox and everything now will be updated. So now what we need to do is we need to be able to set up our email template. So we're going to go to Compose and now in your inbox window, we're going to go to the bottom right hand corner, all right, to the triangle and we're going to click and a pop-up window is going to come up. Now we have down here uh, um, an option for canned responses. So before we do anything with a canned response, what we have to do is we have to actually enter the template that we want for the text. So I've saved a little time and I'm going to just enter in some, some text for our template. And this is an example as an administrator of possibly a weekly email that may be sent to my faculty and staff as my school community. And I've left some things intentionally open that I know that on a weekly basis I'll want to change. But here are the four common areas that I'm going to have consistency in my weekly email to all of my faculty to make sure I address the same four topics uh, in a consistent manner for them. So now that I've inserted the text for the template, I'm going to go back down to the bottom of more options and go into click canned responses. And now this is going to be my new canned response. So when I click new canned response, it is going to give me a, a prompt right, to enter a title for it. I'm going to say weekly email. That's going to be the title of my canned response. I'm going to click OK. All right, so now we're done. Our template is set up, and I'm going to X out of this. All right, and I'm going to come back over, and now it's the end of the week. I'm going to click Compose, and we go back to our new message and an empty window. Well, how do we get that canned response back in there? Again, we go back down to our arrow for more options, open it up, hover over canned responses, and now you see some different options. You see Insert Weekly Message, Save Weekly Message, 
or delete weekly message. So I'm going to go in and insert the weekly message. And just like that, my weekly message has popped in. Now I have the ability to be able to go in and make modifications. Now, if I make any modifications and I think, you know what, this is a good addition to my template, all I have to do is go to my more options, can responses, and save the weekly email. And that will allow me to overwrite anything from my original template, but keep the same naming convention on the subject. And if I need to completely delete a template, I can go down to weekly email and delete that. So just a reminder, if you want to insert a canned response, open up a new message window, go down to more options, canned response, and insert it. If we want to create a new canned response, we'll, we'll keep a new blank message window open. There's my text that I want to make sure is in my template. I'm going to go to Can Responses, click New Can Response. and click OK. To verify, all you have to do is go back in, and can response. There is my new template walkthrough data. I'm going to click that. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. Can response. I want to mm -hmm. insert walkthrough data, and there we go. So can responses provides a great opportunity for you to be able to shave some time off of your daily workflow, whether it be as a teacher or as an administrator. So thanks for joining us today. Always remember to follow all AOP Tech on all of our social media outlets. Subscribe to our YouTube channel below and feel free to contact me either via email or on Twitter.